John Cena's got this Wiley e. Coyote versus Acme movie coming out, a, a movie about that's supposed to be a CG live action hybrid, you know, kind of a little bit in the in the vein of uh, Space Jam, I suppose. You know, Warner Brothers has developed a little bit of a habit, if you will, of taking films that are already finished and throwing them away like they did with Batgirl. Now, throwing away Batgirl was the right move because everything I've heard and talked to personally, that movie was an absolute horrible dumpster fire and they needed to just drop it. But it looks like maybe it's happened again. As reports are coming out that Warner Brothers has made the decision that they're not going to release this Wiley e. Coyote versus Acme movie. Um, let's go over to the Hollywood Reporter and, and, and take in what they're saying here because there's a whole bunch here to unpack, All right? A whole bunch to unpack. So we get into it. It says this. A little over a year after the shelving of Batgirl sent shockwaves throughout Hollywood, Warner Brothers is putting another of its films in the studio vault. Warner's no longer plans to release Coyote vs. Acme, a live-action CG animation hybrid that completed principal photography last year in New Mexico. The move follows veteran animation executive Bill, I'm not going to pronounce his name right, Damashki, uh, taking over Warner Animation Group earlier this year. So a new boss comes in, decides, no, we're not going to do this, this project. Uh, then, you know, the, the, uh, the director of the film talked about how passionate he was about the film, and he's sad that it's gone. Anyway, the feature, which sources believe cost around $72 million to make, had key Warner talent involved in front of the camera and behind the camera. It stars John Cena, who starred in Max's popular DC show Peacemaker and is due to return for a second season. And DC Studios co-head James Gunn produced this movie and worked on the story. Uh, Warner's is intent on staying in the business with filmmaker Green as developing another project for Green to come in and direct. And uh, yeah, it just goes on to talk about a lot of stuff. Now, there are a couple of things to mention here about the Cena situation, okay? The first thing is that while principal photography may have been done, that doesn't mean the movie was done. Because remember, this, this movie was going to be a CG live-action hybrid. So just because they finished principal photography... That means they finished all the live action shooting, like all that stuff was done. But it sounds like they still had a lot of the heavy lifting to do, putting in the CG elements, the characters, all that kind of stuff. Not to mention, you know, if you're going to put it out theatrically, and this movie was made with the intention of going straight to streaming. And we all know that Warner Brothers is getting out of the business of making movies that are just meant to go straight to streaming. So this was originally go straight to streaming. So they only want to do theatrical now. To do this thing theatrically, they probably are going to have to pour more money into the CGI. A lot of the CGI they hadn't even done yet. Then you're going to have to mount probably a $50 million marketing campaign uh, to get it out. And $50 million is modest. A $50 million marketing campaign for a film of that size is modest. So you're probably looking at spending another $25 to $30 million on the CGI. Probably another $40, $45, $50 million on the marketing and the new boss who took over Warner Animation, I guess, just stepped in and said, this doesn't fit with the way we're going and the direction that we're heading. And it's going to be better for us financially just to shelve the project. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Fume. Quitting cold turkey is great in theory, but you and I both know it's way more difficult than that. And that's why there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some fake online promises. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. And they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavor air device that does just that. See, instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. I personally didn't know what to expect when I first got my Fume. I mean, I've never liked vapes, but my goodness, the taste. The first time I tried it, I was completely sold on it. It was incredible. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. 
You gotta try the new Solano Fume. It's made with a premium walnut barrel and an onyx coated mouthpiece that has a slightly softer finish. Start the holidays off right with The Good Habit by going to tryfume.com slash campia and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the show 20% off until December 1st when they use my code campia to help make starting the good habit that much easier. So start the good habit at tryfume.com slash campia to save an additional 20% off the journey pack today until December 1st and 10% off year round. Now, Chris, um, I'm okay with these decisions. Like we heard recently, like Disney made the decision to cut a couple of shows that they had already produced. Um, the Batgirl situation happened. I mean, as long as everybody involved who showed up to work and put in work, as long as those people got paid, that's fine. Like I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, it sucks because I'm not going to lie to you, Chris. I was interested in seeing John, John Cena doing battle with Wiley Coyote. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I was curious about this movie. Uh, they've decided it doesn't fit their plans. They're pulling the plug. And I guess Warner Brothers needs to save that money to get ready to buy Paramount. I, I mean, I don't know if that has something to do with it. But you heard about this. First thought is, here we go again. But what did you think about this news? It's one of those things where I keep scratching my head at, why are you spending so much money on the straight to streaming? Because, yeah. of course, if you're not going to recoup costs and you're trying to do that right now, you are going to just go ahead and pull the plug so you can save that $50 million for advertising and whatever else you need to spend on post-production, getting that CGI up to snuff. But, I mean, Batgirl was 90. Scoob was, I, mean, I think, 40. Which, not a huge budget, honestly. But... Still, spending all this money on straight to streaming things confuses me. I understand the decision. I am a little bummed out because this is actually a really weird story to do, too. The whole Wiley versus Acme, it's based on a 1990 New Yorker article. Article, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in this story, you can read that article for free online and see what this was kind of going to be about. I think that John Cena handles comedy so well. He's so willing to be the fool in moments and play things so sincerely, sincerely, excuse me. So I am sad to see it go, but I feel like moving forward, Warner Brothers just really needs to think about what they're spending, how they're spending it. We've seen time and time again that the hybrid release of things is better for things anyway. So start thinking about things you can release on your streaming service as well as in theaters or slash these budgets and make these like, hallmark movie level budgets that you're putting on your streaming service directly because you can't recoup that cost you just can't you know it, something that needs to be pointed out um like somebody was asking in the live chat why would you green light this thing if you're only going to ax it they didn't actually green light it uh, this was a project that got greenlit while it was still under the at&t ownership and uh they went and i look at the end of the day i guess their just belief is when you look at it, however much money they were going to need to put into finishing the film, plus whatever money they needed to put in to market the film, they didn't feel they were going to make that money back. Like, forget the production cost. They felt that if we put this in theaters, it's not going to make back the money that we're going to have to put in to get it in theaters. Uh, and maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. Uh, but it sounds like, uh, yeah, doing... But you can't... Listen... I agreed with their decision to scrap Batgirl. That was 100% the right decision. There may be some logic behind this one, but they better not make this a long-term ongoing habit because that's not how you build a good business is <laughs> by like constantly greenlighting projects, spending tens and tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars on them and then scrapping them later. It, it, there might be a call for it here and there, but they better not make this a general practice they have moving forward. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.